Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the quietest chicken breeds for every purpose. Before we get into that, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you will receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So is there such a thing as the quietest chicken breed? Well, some breeds aren't as chatty as others, but in truth, there aren't any completely quiet quiet chicken breeds. In this video, I'll identify the chicken breeds that are quietest within their category. Then we'll touch on a few things you can do to keep the chickens you have even more quiet. Your neighbors will be grateful and you'll enjoy just a little more peace and quiet than you did before. So let me start off and explain why chickens are so noisy. Chickens are social animals. They enjoy living in a flock for a variety of reasons like added protection, teamwork when foraging, and power in numbers. So it stands to reason that they communicate with each other daily, sometimes all day long. Unfortunately for us, those cackles, crows, and growls can drive both us and our neighbors a little cuckoo from time to time. The good news is some chicken breeds are less vocal than others. And instead of giving you a handful of less chatty chicken breeds that might not suit your needs, I'll give you an option for each purpose. So let's start off with the first one, the quietest chicken that lays the most eggs. This is the Rhode Island Red. Rhode Island Reds are coveted for the prolific egg laying abilities. With proper care, you can look forward to getting around 250 eggs per year from your Rhode Island Red hens. The Rhode Island Red may be a quieter breed of chicken, but it's not generally an affectionate breed. Some say the roosters are actually quite aggressive. So weigh your options in this category. The next chicken on this list is the prettiest quiet chicken, and that's the Wyandotte chicken. Now, if you ask me, all chickens are pretty awesome looking, but some have a little extra flair than others. If you're an ornamental chicken keeper, you'll want a quiet breed that's easy on the eyes. Luckily, the Wyandotte is one of the quietest breeds of chickens, and with their beautiful laced multicolored feathers, you're not skimping on your chicken's curb appeal when you add one of these beauties to your flock. The next one is the quietest rooster, and this breed is called the Lavender Orpington. This won't be the last time you see the Orpington grace this list of quiet chicken breeds. Specifically, the Lavender Orpington is an extremely quiet breed of chicken, and while not yet recognized by the APA, this chicken is becoming quite a family favorite. The roosters are no different than the hens with their laid back take on life. Yes, they'll crow, but it is quite infrequent compared to other breeds, even on this list. Now let's talk about the quietest meat bird. That bird specifically is the black Australorp. In general, meat birds aren't typically around long enough for their testosterone to kick in. This means they won't be crowing, and if they do, it's usually around eight to nine weeks of age, which is butcher time. Cornish crosses actually start crowing just before it's time to slaughter. But if you're hoping to keep a heritage breed as a meat bird and you're looking for some peace and quiet, consider the black Australorp. It's no accident that the Orp and Australorp comes from their genetic relationship to the Orpington, which is another reason this chicken is a quiet meat chicken. They have a large carcass and they keep their beak shut more than other dual purpose breeds. The only downside is the wait time for slaughter. You'll be slaughtering significantly later than you would with the Cornish cross around six months of age or longer. Now, speaking of dual purpose breeds, now the next one is the, the quietest dual purpose chicken. And this breed is the Buff Orpington. And if you want a quiet chicken that lays well and provides meat, the Buff Orpington is your go-to quiet dual purpose breed. A Buff Orpington will lay approximately 250 eggs per year and is ready to butcher at about six months. A Buff Orpington will weight approximately eight pounds when it's ready for processing. While the carcass of a Buff Orpington will not be as visually pleasing as the Cornish Cross meat bird, it tastes just as good if not better. Buff Orpington skin can be white depending on the variety but it is often more of a yellowish tint, which can be off-putting for those used in the grocery store broiler. Typically, the breastbone is more prominent in heritage breeds, so don't be alarmed if you switch to non-commercial meat birds. Now let's talk about the quietest free ranger, and that is the Easter Egger. It's a fantastic free ranger. With that being said, it's important to note that the Easter Egger is a hybrid and not an actual breed. Regardless, the genetics that link these birds to the Araucana make it an excellent forager that isn't too chatty. The Easter Egger is also quite savvy when it comes to protecting itself from predators. Moreover, some varieties of this breed are said to have 
a hawk-like appearance, which also attributes to its ability to avoid becoming an aerial predator's dinner. As a bonus, they lay lovely eggs ranging in color from pink to olive green and robin egg blue. And for the last one, the friendliest quiet chicken. And this breed is the Orpington. It should come as no surprise that the Orpington is also having a repeat on this list for the third time as the quietest chicken breed. Only this time they're showing up as a kid-friendly quiet chicken breed. Orpingtons come in a variety of colors recognized by the APA, including buff, black, and splash. A newcomer that is not yet recognized by the APA is the aforementioned lavender colored Orpington. Again, the Orpington is a quiet breed that is also extremely docile. It is easily the friendliest chicken breed available. In fact, buffs are often referred to as the golden retriever of the chicken world. So there's no such thing though as a silent chicken. Aside from choosing a quiet chicken breed for your farm, you can also try some of these following tips to make sure your chicken's needs are met and they have less to squawk about. Number one, keep them safe from predators so they don't have to alert and alarm each other when they're in danger. Number two, make sure they also have enough food and water. They'll let you know if they don't. Number three, ensure that each rooster has plenty of hens to call his own. Too many roosters and not enough hens will cause a stir. The exact number may vary depending on your individual flock, but I usually keep at least six hens for every rooster. Number four, you can also take this tip as well. Don't keep roosters. Sadly, they are the ones making the loudest noise in the poultry world. If you want less noise, you can cut the rooster from the flock. And number five, have enough nesting boxes for your hens so they don't cackle and squabble over a place to lay their eggs when the urge is upon them. Usually, a good rule of thumb is one box to every three to four hens should be fine. That's going to do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop. Thanks for listening. If you find our content interesting, if you learn something new, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. With that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.